Hello, good evening. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Marlon. How are you? I'm fine. Good evening. Good evening. Well, Catherine, I cannot listen to you. The microphone, Catherine. No, I cannot listen to you. It's very strange. No. Maybe you can enter again. Maybe you can try entering the meeting again. Okay. Well, I am very sorry that yesterday I couldn't uh, be in class because I wasn't feeling well, but I am here. <laughs> today. So um, thank you very much for attending the, the call for today. Okay, I think Catherine is going to re-enter the class in order to um, fix the problem with the audio. Okay, Mr. Marlon, in honor to the time, we're going to start. So how was your day? Tell me, what did you do today? Well, uh, today it was a um, very difficult day. Oh, really? Yes, because in in the, how do you say empresa in English? And how do you say what? Ah, the, empresa. The, the enterprise, the factory, depending on where you work. Okay. In the enterprise, uh, they use a new system oh. to take the, the, the sales. The sales. Yes. Uh -huh. And that is, we are in, capa, capa, how do you say, capacitation? In training. In training all day, all the morning. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, we start tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. I hope everything is. Uh, it's fine uh, on the training. Uh, yeah. Well, every, every new thing, it's a complete learning. So it's a process. Every time that you start a new thing, it's a learning process. And I hope everything goes very well in your training. So, Mr. Marlon. That's the idea. Yeah, you have to become a learner again. You have to go back to learning. Okay, very good. Catherine, is it fixed already? Todavía no te escuchamos. Serán los audífonos. Si no desconecta los audífonos y vuelvelos a conectar. Hello, Blanquita. How are you? Hi, fine, thank you. A little tired. I imagine. The, yes, the weekend is very, very hard. I all know. the weekend, all the weekend. This is a second week. Uh -huh. I have um audit audit auditor ah, audi auditor auditor uh -huh. yes process because i am i'm in charge and i saw 27 one oh and my god the, and this this is the second week and auditor this i i saw it's correct to say uh, yeah, the ISO. Uh -huh. yeah 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 <clears throat> It's very tired. I imagine. Tired. I and imagine. I have a uh, flu. Gripe. We have the flu. Oh yes. my goodness. And terrible. But it's Friday, finally. <laughs> it's Friday. Yay. And English class on Friday. But, yes. but <laughs> yes. relaxing yesterday. And yes. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yesterday, yesterday I was feeling very bad. I couldn't connect yesterday, and but we are here. So thank you for yes. lending me your Friday. Hello, no Ismael. How was your day? Hello. Good evening. Um, 
Uh, I'm sorry, you were asking uh, how... About your day. How was your day today? Uh, it was a good day um, because it's Friday, as uh, Blanco was saying. <laughs> yeah, so it was a, a good day. I didn't have a, uh, too much uh, work, so it was... It, it was, was good. good. It was good. Very nice. Yes. Fantastic. So Catherine is still fighting with the microphone. Poor Catherine. Hello. Hey, I can listen to you now. Yay. I can listen to you. Yes. Okay. So Catherine, how was your day? Uh, I'm fine. Because uh, they are my sister. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, and your day? Uh huh. My day? Uh huh. Ah, it was kind of, kind of uh, different, difficult, <laughs> because as uh, I went to get some exams done and hospital check in and all that, so it was like, yeah. <laughs> it was very difficult. But I am here. I am very happy to be here. So thank you very much for asking me and. We're going to continue with what we were doing in the previous class, right? This was the last exercise we did in class and we were making uh, sentences. Do you remember how we match the sentences here? What was the answer for this one? Could you lend me $20? What was the answer for that one? Uh, it was, uh, are you kidding? I don't have any cash. Very good. Do you remember the answer for, can you get me a sandwich? Maybe, I am really sorry, but I am busy. Uh, no, that wasn't, it was. I, I think it's a sure, no problem. Sure, no problem, I'll be glad I'll be to. Glad to. <laughs> Catherine was mentioning the answer, but I couldn't listen to her. Let's see, can you help me move to my new house? I'm sorry, I'm didn't really did this. I the what? Sorry, I didn't release. No, no, no. This, no, it's no. can you help me to move? Can you help me move to my new house? I'm sorry, I will didn't eat right now, right away. Uh, no, no, no. That is. Uh, can you help I'm me move really to my I'm sorry, new... but I am busy. Aha, uh -huh, but I am busy. That one is. That one is. Yes. The next one. Uh, would you mind not sitting here? Uh, would you mind not sitting here? Sorry, I did not realize this seat was taken. Sorry, I didn't realize this seat was taken. Very good. Uh, could you move your car from my space? I'm sorry, I'll do it right away. I will do it right away, very good. And the last one, would you mind not talking so loudly? Um, we are sorry, we'll talk more quietly. Very good, we will talk more quietly, very nice. So in the case of this ones, Imagine if you have, okay, I am going to show you this one first. We have here different ways to apologize. When you say, when you want to give an excuse, you say, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. It's like, lo siento, no me di cuenta, right? I'm sorry, I didn't realize. To admit a mistake, you say, oh, I forgot. I forgot I left it there, for example. Or I forgot I did it. I forgot I told you that. To make an offer, I will take it out right away. I will do it right away. I will go right now. So that's to make an offer. And to make a promise, you say, I promise I will, and I will make sure. I will make sure to. I promise I will do it tomorrow in the morning. I will make sure uh, not to do it again. I will make sure to do it early in the morning, right? Those are the two ways that you can make a promise make an effort, admit a mistake, like, I'm sorry, I forgot it, right? It was my, my mistake. To give an excuse, I'm sorry, I didn't realize, like, no me di cuenta. That's for you to make an excuse. So 
if you have different uh, requests, imagine that you have a request like this one. Could you lend me your toothbrush? And it says, oh, I'm sorry, I don't have it with me. What will you say if I if a person tells you this right now? Could you lend me your toothbrush? What will be your answer? Oh, I am sorry, I don't have it with me. Aha, uh -huh. but in a real in the real life, what will be your answer? Imagine if you if someone says, Oh, could Let you lend me. me your toothbrush? No, thank you. No, it's my I'm gonna I, say I, no I can't, sure. I can't. My my it's, I, I, it's like Sorry. it's mine. It's my it's Alice. My... Like, no, not at all. You say <laughs> never. <laughs> Imagine now with COVID 19, it's like, no, could you lend me your toothbrush? It's like, ew, no. Ew. <laughs> and what it's will be my... your <clears throat> what will be your answer if you if someone asks, why uh, would you mind giving me your cell phone for today? I I'm sorry, I need it. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, I need it. What will be the other's uh, excuse? Give me your cell phone just for today. I will have it all the day. Yes, give me two. Two <laughs> cell phone too. Give me your cell phone too. <laughs> uh -huh. Ismael, what would, you, what would you answer to this one? Uh, I am trying to think uh, when, uh, when my wife says something like, hey, can you please give me something? I... Uh, as a joke, I say, compre sus cositas. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no. Hey, go on. Okay. No, no. <laughs> no, in this case, I'm going to say no, because I need it for, um, for checking Facebook. I need it for checking Facebook. Like, I need it for my work. Is it? The next yeah, one. For... <laughs> I, I need it for work, right? Could you take care of my dog for 15 days? me yes oh blanca will say yes hey that's cool She's... i have i i have two, two dogs, two dogs. one oh my god one conejo one rabbit yeah one rabbit oh and really oh my goodness well if, my uh-huh if dog it's a pastor alemán or forget it <laughs> it's a boxer Oh, forget it. <laughs> okay, forget it. I need to find another house for Kiara. Yes, yes, yes. Marlon. I need specific the white dog. Yeah, yeah. Marlon, could you take care of my dog for 15 days? Sorry, I can't because I have one. Ah, but you can have two. <laughs> uh, one is, is, how do you say sufficient? Enough. One is enough. is enough. No, okay, okay. Yes. Thank, thank you very much. Let's see, Mr. Ismael, could you take care of my dog for 15 days? Uh, no, I'm sorry, because I need to work in a quiet place. Ah, and okay. The dogs make a lot of noise. Sorry. Okay, okay. <laughs> forgive him, forgive him. Ana Romero, could you take care of my dog for my for 15 days? Anita. Anita, are you there, Anita? Now, Catherine, will you take care of my dog for 15 days? Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, I know because uh, it's because our mm -hmm. um, very occupation. Oh, you are very busy. Oh. Okay, anyway, okay, sorry. Let me see. Mr. Alfredo, Antonio. Alfredo, could you take care of my dog for 15 days? Um, it's just 15 days. Um, no teacher, no. Why? Um, and for the work. Ah, because you work. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes. I, I understand. Okay. No one wants to take care of my dog. My God. Okay. So in that case, I have the last request for the night. Could you, can you lend me your house for two days?
Uh -huh. I, I don't know what does mean let me your house. Lend me. Uh, lend me is lend me. prestar. And <laughs> okay. Could, can you I lend first, me your house? I heard, for the, today? I heard the question. For what? Uh, for, 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 for some parties <clears throat> that I want to do. No, thank I'm sorry. No, I have. <laughs> I, 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 I don't want. I can't. You say I, I can't. can't. Okay, let's see. Mr. Marlon, could you lend me your house for two days? Are you kidding me? My <laughs> wife maybe kill me. <laughs> That's a very good answer. Are you kidding yes, me? My wife answer. could kill me. It's like, okay, no, right? So in these cases, you say like to give an excuse, like I'm, I'm very sorry, but no, thank you. No. And I can say, I promise that I will take care of it. I promise that I am not going to break anything. Right, but hmm, those promises in some cases are not true. So we're going to uh, close this unit with a little reading. And here we have neighbor versus neighbor. And in this situation, I am going to start asking the first question. Do you have good neighbors or bad neighbors? I have a bad neighbor. Oh, you have a for bad sure. neighbor. Why? For sure. Uh, because uh, sometimes she has a party from 6 p.m. to the next day. Oh, my uh, for, goodness. 4 a.m. Yeah, and it's, they are laughing, singing, doing karaoke. Oh, my goodness. And yes, they don't and invite. I didn't invite. That's the problem. <laughs> okay. So you have bad neighbors. Bad neighbors. Okay. Blanca, do you have good neighbors or bad neighbors? Both. Uh, both. Uh -huh. Both. I have a really good neighbor. Um, ¿cómo se dice? Super amables, ¿cómo se dice? Very kind. Very kind. In the other side, I have a one neighbor. It's a which really it's a witch. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Okay. One one day she fight me. No, come on. She fought, she ah she yelled at me. Yelled at me because my garden, the front of the house, no no use the plants. Eh, es que usted las plantas que ella quería. Oh, really? You when use you yes. use the plants that she wanted. Yes. Oh my goodness! What a crazy thing. <laughs> okay. It's really very crazy. Isn't show? Those are really really crazy. Okay, so those are bad neighbors. Yes. Marlon, do you have good neighbors or bad neighbors? Well, I think they maybe bad neighbors. Bad neighbors. They make a lot of noise. Uh, well. Uh, I have one, then they let out the dog, oh. and he may... He, he poops out of your house. Uh, in front of my house. I have the same problem. Yeah, and, and I am trying to catch the dog on the moment, but I haven't had the chance. They do it early in the morning. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the same case here. Well, you see, neighbors are sometimes good, sometimes bad. Let's go over the reading and we're going to analyze it, okay? Right now, I need you to uh, check on the reading. Right here, we have it. I need you to check a little bit on it for you to look for new vocabulary. I am going to read it for you and then you are going to uh, read along with me, okay? So I am going to make this one a little bit bigger. I don't know if you can see it better now. ¿La pueden ver mejor ahora? Yes. Okay, so, so it says, the woman in the apartment upstairs plays her piano after midnight. The family across the street never cleans up their yard. The garbage blows into your yard. The guy next door always parks his cart in front of our drive of your driveway. Have things like this ever happened to you? If so, you may ask yourself, 
who are these people? Why are they why are they doing these things to me? These days, many people don't uh, don't know their neighbors. Sometimes we share a friendly wave or say hello, but a lot of people don't even know their, neighbor, their neighbors' names. When you don't know someone, it is easy to build up frustration and resentment. And you think, maybe they like to annoy me, or maybe they do it deliberately. Believe it or not, your neighbors probably don't mean to irritate you. Often, they don't even know that they are getting on your nerves. So before you take extreme measures to fix the problem, you should discuss it with them first. When you approach your neighbors, you should talk to them in a friendly manner. Compliment their children or do something else to make them feel good. Then explain the situation. And if you can think of a simple solution, suggest it. If talking doesn't work, ask another person to help you. This person can listen to both sides of the story and help you and your neighbor resolve the situation. Finally, it's sometimes a good idea to avoid the problem. Depending on the issue, it might be just to say it might be best to just stay out of your neighbor's way. So the situations that you were mentioning, right? Problems because of the garden, problem because of the dog, problem because of the neighbors, and problems because they just do the things that annoy you. Do you have new words or vocabulary that you don't know? This is the moment for you to say, teacher, what's the meaning of? What the meaning? Deli, deli, deliberately. The last, the, uh, uh, yes. Deliberately. 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 Okay, what does it mean? It's the same as in Spanish. Deliberadamente. Deliberadamente. Oh my God. Exactly okay. the same. Okay. Any other question? Teacher. Yes. Uh, share, share a friendly. Ah, this one. Sometimes we share a friendly wave. It's like, compartimos un saludo amable. Yay, that's a wave, right? In okay. some cases, you see your neighbors in the morning and you're like, good morning. And that's everything that you share with your neighbors. You share a friendly wave. Any, any other word? Any other word that it's new for you? It's okay. Do you know the meaning of resentment? Resentimiento, teacher. Exactly. Frustration? Frustration. It's the same, the same as in same. Spanish. Teacher, right? annoy, annoy me? Annoy. Where is it? In... Abajo, en la última línea. Annoy, annoy me. Ah, annoy me. Uh -huh. It's like maybe they like to annoy me. It's like, oh. Oh. no, like, like when a person does something that you hate and you're like, oh, come on, come on, come uh -huh. on. <laughs> it's like when you, when you tell your kids, for example, when you tell your kids, eh, eh, deja de hacer ese ruido. And the kid is like, and it's so like, deja de hacer ese ruido. Eh, 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 eh. And then you start like getting on your nerves and it's like, gosh, come on, come on, come on. And then you start getting angry, right? Because of that. Ya se convierte en algo molesto. <laughs> like my dog right now barking. <laughs> okay. Any other, any other new word? Teacher. Yes. In both sides. Oh, both sides. Yes. Both sides. Ambos lados. Ambos lados de la historia. Okay. Thank you, teacher. En el, en el párrafo anterior dice, when you appro uh, approach, approach your neighbors. Approach your neighbors. When you approach is when you go and talk to the person. Okay. Uh -huh. It's like when you say in Spanish, lo voy a abordar, lo, me voy a acercar a él. 
right? You approach the person, right? When you approach your neighbors, it's like, oh, Don Juan, mire, buenos dias. And then you just go and talk to him, right? When, when you approach your neighbors. Thanks, teacher. Here, when they say compliment their children, it's like, ah, he, he's very cute. Ah, what a beautiful kid. Compliment their children, right? It's like, ay, qué, qué linda la niña. Como está de grande. Qué bonita. So, <laughs> compliment. It's like to, to say something nice. Let me see. Any other question? Any other Excuse word? Me, yes? Este, donde dice suhelt, después de solution, en el párrafo de arriba, al final, por donde oh. termina la imagen, en la esquinita. Ah, suggest. Yes, y donde dice to avoid. To avoid, let's see, where is it? Está más abajo, en el último párrafo. Mm, ah, to avoid, evitar. Evitar, y suggested is eh, sugiérelo. And if you can think of a simple solution, Suggest it. Si tienes una solución simple para el problema, sugiérela. But in this one, it's like, finally, sometimes it's a good idea to avoid the problem, right? Avoid the problem is evitar el problema. Depending on the issue, the meaning of issue is like the situation, right? Depending on the situation. Any other word? When you say, do you have to take extreme measures? What is the meaning of that? What is extreme measures? Medidas extremas. Medidas extremas, right? <laughs> Before you take extreme measures to fix the problem, you should discuss it with them first, right? Before you punch the face of and the be, neighbor. Before, before you fight with the neighbor, you have to approach the neighbor first, okay? So, in general, in general, these are the different problems that you can have with your neighbors, right? And these were the four problems. Imagine that you have them in your house. The woman in the apartment upstairs plays her piano after midnight. How would you fix this situation? ¿Cómo arreglarían esta situación? The woman in the top floor plays the piano after midnight. Call the police. You will call the police. Yes. Yes. You but will call that's the an extreme me That's an extreme measure. Yeah, that's an extreme measure. But what will you do this first? This is effective. This is effective. <laughs> <laughs> what will be your first one? For Friday, 10 p.m., it's okay. But uh, after midnight? As a minute, no. Please, no. No, no, no. Not at all. You say. No, thank you. But what would be and, the first and thing? We, and we, when, when I kid, when I have kids, and I we can sleep, it's very difficult. I know, I know. Imagine this one: the family across the street never cleans the yard, so the garbage blows into your yard. Ya se vuela la basura hasta tu casa. I don't know. It's it's difficult. Where who calls? Yeah, you, you cannot oh. call. Or uh, write the letter for the, the all the neighborhoods. Okay. To write, a, to yes. okay, to complain with all the neighbors. Yes. And what will you do if this one happens? The boy next door always parks in front of your house. <laughs> Mauricio is thinking like the worst things to do. What will yeah, you do? Too. We too. take a kid, kiss, uh -huh. and eh, aproximarse al, al carro y, y hacer the seat. Oh my God. <laughs> Those are extreme measures. This Definitely. is extreme measures. Well, yeah, I will go and say like, hey, can you move the car, please? If not, I will move it with a grua. Yes. <laughs> but maybe. with the police. <laughs> Okay, so uh, yeah, I, I can see that my students are very determined, right? You are always looking for extreme measures at the top. Ah, let's call the police. <laughs> and that's it, right? And then they're in Senorita Laura, right? <laughs> Fighting with the neighbors. So uh, what are some of the recommendations that you get from the reading? 
What are some of the recommendations that you get in order to fix the situation? Here you have on the reading many recommendations. So what are some of them? And the first one, it says uh, approach uh, your neighbor. So approach. it's basically what you were saying, speaking to them in a kindly manner. Maybe, okay, good. Maybe they change. Maybe, maybe they change. Maybe. Okay. If not, yeah, if not, they're going to get mad on you and that's going to be worse. Yes, if they get mad at you, I mean, yeah, the situation is going to be worse and worse and you are not going to fix anything. So if talking doesn't work, look for extra help for you to fix the situation. So after the reading, I have here a couple of vocabulary exercises. And for sure, this one is on the platform, right? Uh, talking about what we were just doing, what is the meaning of resentment? And here I have some definitions. And we have a way of behaving, anger that grows over time, and a problem or difficulty on purpose, a step taken in order to achieve something, or bother or annoy. What is the meaning of, we have here, resentment, deliberately, irritate, measure, manner, and resolve. We can match any of them. Three with, with F, irritate, irritate, brother or annoying. Bother, bother or annoy. Bother, sorry. Bother. bother. Good. Any other one? For resentment, anger that grows over time. Resentment and anger that grows over time, right? El resentimiento is like, oh my God. Deliberately, or measure, or manner, or resolve. What is the meaning of resolve? Resolve, done. And, and, and a problem or difficulty. And, and a problem or difficulty, yeah. good, very Finished. good. Manner, we are, we're missing manner, deliberately, and measure. Medida. On purpose? And deliberately it is um, on purpose. On purpose. Hmm. Deliberadamente. Measure. Measure and manner. Measure a step taken in order to achieve something. Measure, it's a step taken in order to achieve something. And for sure, manner is a way of behaving. Right, manner is a way of behaving. So nowadays, oh, sorry, sorry. Let's see if I can do it again. Uh, I can't. Oh, I did it. Okay. Tell me, what is the answer for this situation? Why don't many people know their neighbors? Why don't many people know their neighbors? ¿Por qué creen ustedes que ahora ya la gente no se conoce? What will be your answer? Maybe. In case because I am busy. Because I, I am, am uh, because I am always busy working. Uh -huh. Pandemic. <laughs> because of the pandemic, because of the quarantine. Yeah. Good. Because people are using more than cell phones. Because. So in, in... Yes. Because you don't you don't need to, right? Imagine if you have your neighbor's WhatsApp, you send a WhatsApp to them, but you don't go to the door like knock knock knock, hello, this and this. So it's it's not necessary. Can you uh, give me um one glass for of sugar? Uh, yeah, a cup of sugar. Cup of sugar. <laughs> a cup of sugar. Why do we become angry at neighbors? Why do we become angry at neighbors? ¿Por qué nos enojamos con los vecinos? For the dogs. <laughs> For the dogs. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really good reason. For the noise. For the noise. Noise on, on day or night. The so noise. it's basically for their behavior for their behavior, for the way they act, right? What are some extreme measures you can take to solve a problem? 
Well, this was an answer and you answered it already. Extreme measures, call the police, get the keys and scratch the car, uh, fight with the neighbors. So those are extreme measures and you were mentioning them, but don't do that, okay? How should you approach a neighbor about a problem? How should you approach a neighbor about a problem? ¿Cómo deberíamos de llegarle a los vecinos si tenemos un problema? First, uh -huh. uh, give the, no. Take. ¿Cómo se dice solicitarle? Es, ask uh, for. Ask for the change or... or res, this resolve the problem. Okay, ask Elder. them. Ask them to resolve the problem. Good. Uh -huh. Ismael was going to mention something. In my case, um, I prefer not saying no. I mean, I prefer not saying anything to, to the neighbors in order to avoid any problems. You can hear the, uh, a dog yeah. in my background. <laughs> that dog is like this the whole day the oh whole my night goodness. yeah it, it's really annoying and but i prefer not saying anything because anything. at the end yeah we're gonna get problems and and it and she's the the, the neighbor that i was saying that uh, she has patties until oh my goodness. 4 a.m yeah that's a big problem I no, think. And, 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 you know what and the big problem is is because i am working from home ah Oh my so goodness. that's the big issue. Yeah, I I have a neighbor who sells vegetables. So and she is yeah she's yeah no no and and she and the person has this truck that she puts outside the house with the thing there sounding and sounding it's like oh it's very annoying. When I was working here, well during the day when I was working at home, it was very annoying. And my students were like, teacher, la papa. And I was like, oh, shit, come on. <laughs> and what can you do when, you dis when your discussion doesn't work? Call the police. <laughs> Call the police. Call I the police. It. Yeah, I did it very once. Effective. It's very effective, definitely. Call the police. If a, if a party is very, very noisy, and it's like, come on. <laughs> Call the police, you see? Call the police. Definitely call the police. So let me see. Let's go over the next situation. Thank you, my dear students, for all your comments. So moving forward into the next topic that we're going to study, I have here the greatest inventions of the world, right? We have been, we were talking about the neighbors and the annoying things that they do and everything. But here in this second section, of our module, we are going to talk about inventions and the different uses and purposes for them, right? We are going to talk about this. This will be our second section of. Uh... Okay, here it is. This will be our second section of the module. Greatest inventions. Here we have the television, the newspaper, the telephone, the computer, the radio, right? The communications, the fax the internet and the cell phone. My question is, and this is for everybody. This is a question for everybody. What do you consider has been the best invention in the world? What do you consider has been the best invention in the world? Uh -huh. The internet. The washing machine, the internet. Uh -huh. Internet, washing machine. What else? I need everybody to answer. Um, I think maybe the airplanes. The airplanes, okay, the airplanes, good. Mauricio, what do you consider? Um, I don't know, maybe the uh, fastest cars okay faster cars for faster cars good catering what do you what do you consider has been the best invention in the world i cannot listen to you but okay if not you can answer in the chat honey because i cannot listen 
<clears throat> Diomesis, what do you consider has been the best invention in the world? Mr. Diomesis? Invention, a uh, Bitcoin? The Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, indeed, it's a very good invention. Catherine. Uh, yes? No, I was going to say if I can change mine. I said the airplane. But uh -huh. actually, it's, it's the vaccine. The vaccine, yeah. The vaccine. It mm -hmm. is indeed, definitely. How, I can hear you. Can you repeat me? What? Uh, he said that the vaccines. What does mean? Ah, uh, yes. The vacuna. Or <laughs> and and Diomas said the Bitcoin. That's cool. If you use it as, as smart, then you're going to get a lot of money. Mr. Marlon, what has been the best invention? Oh, you said the internet, right? Yes. The internet. Heidi, what do you consider the best invention in the world? And uh, in my case, the washing machine teacher. The washing machine. <laughs> and Maritza? <laughs> Maritza, what do you consider the best invention in the world? Okay, someone in the house of Maritza? <laughs> do you know? Uh, the best invention that I consider is electricity. Because without electricity, we couldn't have we couldn't have internet or or washing machines or televisions or or anything so without electricity we're nothing so oh, thank god for the electricity and the light that's pretty awesome now the second question yes uh, music was better before oh yeah music yeah music in the past was a lot better definitely yes now, since uh, reggaeton appeared, everything went down. Tell me, what is a very necessary object for your life? The one that Sorry, you said, what? what is a very necessary object in your life? That you say, oh no, that's, I, I need it for everything. There's water. <laughs> Water, water. We we, we save uh, electricity, but we don't have save. Yeah, yeah. If you don't have water, yeah. Uh -huh. Exercise. Well, the exercise machines that can be, Mister Iman. Which one do you yeah, consider? it's it's the stove. I think the stove. stove. Yeah, the stove for you to cook, for sure. <laughs> yeah. If not, imagine you are going to be setting fire there. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's a very complicated thing. Yeah. Mauricio, what is something very necessary for you? The bed, too. The cell phones. The cell phone, right? The cell phone, indeed. You need your cell phone all the time. Catherine? By my word, yes. Exercise. Okay, but what is an object that is very necessary in your life? ¿Qué objeto es totalmente crucial para tu vida? Um, the cell phone. The cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Marlon. You say the cell phone. The cell Because phone. For my work. Okay, for your work. Heidi, what do you think? My cars. The cars. Yes, imagine walking everywhere. Yes, teacher. <laughs> I don't have a car, but I have the buses. Well, but transportation in general. Imagine we didn't if we didn't have transportation outside the call center, a lot of horses, right? <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome, right? What color is your horse? Uh, mine is white. <laughs> that yeah. You have a carreta. I was like, oh, look, he has a carreta, but that's another level. <laughs> but, cool it's gonna, but in my case, I am from Aguachapan, and, oh. and, I, and I used to work in San Salvador. Oh, imagine. Imagine, imagine taking the carreta every day. Ah, 
every five days you come back to your house. Yeah, yeah. That, that's kind of difficult then. So thank you for sharing about the greatest inventions that you consider necessary for you. Here I have some of the years on which the inventions were created. Mauricio, can you help me to read the, the names and the years? The names of the years. Microwave, oven, one, it, it, then the number two. Sorry. The first one, it says microwave oven. Microwave it's oven. It's 1945. 1945. The next one? Telephone and wearing Answering machine. machine. Please move the point. Uh, 1949. Uh -huh. The pocket calculator, 1970. 70, uh -huh. And? The video, game, video games in, in 19... 72. 1972. Good. 1972. Okay, very good. Mauricio. BCA. Oh, the uh, VCR? Continue, continue. BCR 1974. Walmart. Walkman. 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 1979. And cell phone. 19. 79 World Wide Web in 1989. 1989. Uh, do you know what a Walkman is? Uh, <clears throat> Walkman, and no, no much, but I, I remember the Disman. The Disman or the CD player, right? Yes. It's, the, it's, the Walkman, it's the, the Walkman was the same, but for cassettes. A cassette, yes. Yes. Imagine you there with Lo Fantasma del Caribe there. In the cassette. Yeah. <laughs> Selena. Listening Wanda. to Selena there. Listening to Backstreet Boys in a CD the player. The Backstreet Boys. Ah, yes. The Backstreet ah, Boys. Yes. It was not. We were so young and we didn't know. Imagine this cell phone in your pocket. <laughs> it's like, honey, don't honey, manage. don't forget the cell phone. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 1979. <laughs> Imagine the first video games. In 1972. Do you like video games, by the way? People? Do you like video games? I don't like video games. Yes. On, Atari. On, uh, on the computer. Uh -huh. Nintendo, right. All this. Nintendo. Super Nintendo. And all the, and all these. I remember and one. The... I remember one that used to have like 8,000 games. But it was just yeah. six games. And they were repeated. <laughs> All the Marios, Mario one, yeah. two, three, four. That was pretty awesome, right? All the video games. And the, uh, the dogs, the killer, the dogs. Uh, if you remember the, 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 the game with me, uh, kill the dog, the, the dogs. The ducks. Ah, yeah, with a, with a little sh shotgun. Yes. That you have to the, point at the, uh, yeah, I remember that. That was pretty awesome. Orange, the gun in an orange. Yeah, they with the an dogs. orange gun. Yeah, exactly like that. I remember that. Yeah, quizás son muy jóvenes para recordarlo. Yes, because never say anything. Yeah. I, Ismael, how old are you? Um, I am 28. Uh, I'm 28. Mauricio? Um, how old are you? Yeah. How old? How old are you? 39. Uh, no, you remember the dogs. Yes. Yeah, Mauricio, si recuerda el de los patos. Yes, yes. <laughs> I remember. I, you... I have a, I have a, a, a gun. Oh, okay. orange gun. An orange gun. Yes, an oh. orange gun. And so I, you see. And the. Uh, uh, go, go, go. Yo la aproximaba más cerca de la pantalla. <laughs> no. yeah. That was the trick to kill the dogs well but you see i uh, never lose and the, do yeah. and the dog like, yeah <laughs> and he I used to laugh that. like <laughs> and uh, and the dog was laughing it was yeah. laughing when you didn't do it so you see i didn't i felt i felt really old but no i can see that you know so 
here you have a, the type of use that we give to the computer. Tell me if you use it often, sometimes, hardly ever, or never. Do you use the computer to send and receive emails? Often, sometimes, often. hardly ever, or never? Often. 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 All day. Yes, I do it all day. All well. day. For all paying day. the bills? Often. Yeah. Paying the bills is pagar recibos. For paying bills. Yes. Often. Yes. Often. Oh, with my child, I oh, uh -huh. uh, get up. Uh -huh. uh, I need to take it to the doctor in this moment. Oh, you need to take the, the your child to the doctor. I'm a, I'm a child, I'm a kid. Uh -huh. Because oh. he feel uh -huh. a, a pain. Oh, okay, 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 good. Go ahead, go ahead. Marlon, you can watch the, the class on, on YouTube, don't worry. Okay, I will send you. you the link. Don't worry. Don't worry. I hope everything is fine. Go ahead. Oh, poor, poor Marlon. Okay. Bueno, aquí estaremos todos pendientes de ti. Let's see. Do you use the computer to play games? Sometimes. 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 Yes. So sometimes. To find information on the web? Often. 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 For doing a school assignments. What is my uh, assignment? Tareas. Ah, okay. For doing a school assignments? Sometimes. Sometimes. Really to learn languages? <laughs> to learn languages? Do you use your computer to learn languages? Often. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> we are here. We are here doing that. <laughs> to, to check the weather? Often. <laughs> Often <laughs> to read on the, the computer. Uh -huh. um, never. No, no I, I check the weather on the cell phone. On oh, the cell phone, yes. To read the news. In the computer, no. And for downloading music. Yes. Yeah. Do you remember Often. in the past when you used to download music and it was one song and a hundred viruses? The when best you use of music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, it was, yeah, uh, uh, I don't know how to say it in English, Aris. Uh -huh, yeah, but it was like, you were, you were checking on the song, moving, advancing. It's like, falta un día y 24, no sé cuántos minutos. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Well, something curious that you can see in these things that I am going to mark here. And you tell me what can you spot from this one? What is the difference that you can see in the sentences that I mark? El gerundio. Ajá, the ing. In which cases do you use ing? Mm -hmm. On plurals? The action? Mm, not with plurals, not with actions. Look at this one. Here you have two, two. Oh. and here you have four. Four. After two, you use the normal infinitive. And when okay. you use four, you use an ing form. You don't say for to pay. No, please, in the love of God, don't do it. Okay, in the love of God, don't do it. It's like for to go, for to find. No, it's not correct. Say, for finding, for playing, for doing, right? But don't say for to learn. No, that's incorrect. You say, I use the computer to learn English. I use the computer to check Facebook, for example, right? But if you say, I use the computer for doing homework. I use the computer for checking Facebook, okay? When you use for, you use the ING form. When you use to, you use an infinity, okay? Is that clear? Nos queda yeah. claro el punto? Yes. yes? Okay, yeah. thank you very much. So I have here the little explanation that when you have the infinitives and the gerunds, right? For the infinitives, you use two. And for the gerunds, you use four. I use my computer to send emails. I use my computer for sending emails. 
Computers are often used to pay bills. Computers are often used for paying bills, okay? So uh, it's basically what I was explaining, right? The purpose can be expressed by the infinitive and the gerund, right? The infinitive and the gerund. I use my cell phone to send messages or cell phones are used to send messages. It's the same meaning. And I use my cell phone for sending messages and I cell phones are used for sending messages, okay? If you have two, the normal form of the verb. If you have four, the ing, okay? That's a very clear point. So don't confuse it. Don't say for send or to sending because that would be mixing the two things and that's not possible, okay? So if you have two, the normal form of the verb, and if you have four, the ing form of it, okay? Yeah. Yes, teacher? It's clear. Good, very good. So let's see if we are understanding. Let's check here. I have here some situations, right? And we were talking, we were talking uh, about the different uses of things. So the satellites, what do you use satellites for? To study the world's weather. You can use a satellite to study the world's weather. That can be good. Yeah. Robots are sometimes used. <laughs> what for? To, to perform dangerous tasks. To perform dangerous tasks. Good. You can use a cell phone. Huh, Mauricio, your microphone was off. A send text message. You can use a cell phone to send text messages. People use the internet. People use the internet. What for? Read uh -huh. Make travel reservations. Okay, you can use it to make travel reservations, but also you can use it to read yeah, the latest weather report. DNA fingerprints is used. Identify criminals. To identify criminals. Good. CD ROMs are used. CD ROMs are used or were used in this case. For the story and encyclopedia. To store an encyclopedia, right? What is something that you can use to transmit television programs? The satellites. The satellites, right? The satellites are used to transmit television programs. And also, cell phone calls to transmit cell phone calls and let's see i think those are the ones that i have if you want to make a sentence using two or using four how would you do it imagine sentence number one satellites are used How would you create a sentence? Satellites are used for studying the world's weather. Very good. Satellites are used for studying the world's weather. Very good. Robots are sometimes used. Two or four. You can use the two forms. Four. Four. Recuerden que si usamos for, tenemos que cambiar el verbo. Read, um, performing. Performing dangerous tasks. Very good. You can use a cell phone. Two and four. You can use a cell phone. For te sending text messages. For sending text messages. Good. Si usamos tú, el verbo queda igual, ¿ok? Yes. People use the internet. Internet. 
to reading, no, for reading. For the reading. Latest weather report. The latest weather report. And with two? To read. To read. Good. Mauricio, what was your answer? People using the internet for uh, send text messages to. Yeah, for sending text messages, right? I remember there was a page to do that. Yes. DNA fingerprints is used. DNA fingerprints is used. To identify. Criminals. To identify criminals. Good. See the rooms are used. To store. To store an encyclopedia. Very good. Heidi, give me one example. Yeah, from the ones that we have here. Or if you want to create a new one, that's perfect. And the satellite, satellite, are you, are you for transmitting? Uh -huh, for transmitting. Telephone call, transmitting telephone calls. Very good job. Diomesis, give me one example. You you uh, you can use a cell phone to for send te text messages. Okay, for si usamos for tenemos que for. usar ing. For. for sending for. tendría que ser. For sending text messages. For sending text messages. Very good job, Maritza. Can you give me one example? Maritza. Give me one example. Okay, Maritza was not there. So the idea is this one. Remember that if you use two, the verb is going to be in the normal form. And if you use four, the verb is going to change to the ing form. Well, my dear students, I am going to stop here because uh, it's time. It's time for you to go and enjoy your rest of your Friday. We are going to continue with, th with this topic on Monday. So please, if you can advance on the platform, that would be perfect, okay? Have a beautiful night and I am going to see you on Monday. Thank you for attending the class on Friday. And it was a pleasure for me to serve you once again. I am going to see you on Monday. Good night. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Beautiful nice night. Weekend. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye.